Hi everyone, it's Mary from A Passion for Paper Shop. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have some lovely vintage and antique treasures that I received from France to share. Take a look. I just think this would be darling tucked into a journal. And the back is that beautiful French postcard look. And then I have some lovely trim here, some lace, another postcard. Love the French words on it. This one actually has writing on it and it, a couple of stamps. It's very beautiful handwriting. And then these lovely old papers with the beautiful script and uh, embossed seal here. You can see where it was torn out of the ledger book. Just love that script. I have made copies of this page and once I make the copies I either print them on tea dyed paper or I submerge them in a coffee tea bath and get them nice and aged and then I put them in my journals and scrappy notepads as well as tear little pieces off to put in my clusters so I have some of those in the shop I'm trying to make out that date you can see it's pretty hard to read looks like that says vente and it's been numbered 137 just love these old papers they feel so great and see all the different signatures at the bottom and I do plan to scan a few more of these and use them as well because they're all so pretty this one I have also scanned in and used in several of my small booklets and it's nice because you can have some space here for writing your own notes and then it also has this beautiful top piece the image and beautiful font 1916 is the date there love these old papers so much this was a beautiful ledger love the colors on it and again this one has writing all the way down you can see the different months over here janvier october and then on the back side, lots of open space here. So this is another piece that I've scanned and I've used it in a lot of um, booklets. And I believe also some scrappy notepads just because I love these old ledger papers so much. 
I don't have any digitals for sale in my Etsy shop yet, but I may um, get around to doing that. I just love making things and sewing things, and I've been more focused on that up to this point. But I think it would be nice to make some more of these images available to other people because I know how much I love using them. This is so pretty. 1950. I have received two of those. Oh, that's not part of my <laughs> French things. I just was going to also show you a couple of the booklets that I've made recently. This, you can see, has the lovely grungy patina on it. I do like to soak these in a mixture of coffee and tea and that's how I get those beautiful results. This is a wonderful digital image that I purchased from Ruby and Pearl Etsy shop and then um, coffee dyed, tea dyed that as well and that's so pretty. I love those. Here's a French journal page, I mean French book page, and that is an original vintage page. I love the patina on the edges, I think it's so pretty. That looks really great with these other coffee tea dyed pages. And here's the center of the booklet, and again, for these little booklets I usually just do the two hole stitch instead of the three because they're so small and I love um, sewing these together. It feels so nice not to have to fight with a really thick big journal. It just pops the needle right through. So lovely. It's a really nice grunged up piece with a number 14 there upside down in the back of this beautiful French script that was from the Ruby and Pearl digital that I purchased at her Etsy shop and I love just tearing the edges and again getting that in the coffee tea dye bath so if I tear it first and then put it in the dye bath it just comes out so much better because it soaks into the torn edges and then here's this lovely back page and that is one of the booklets that I will be putting in my Etsy shop soon. I have several in there already. They're just so fun to add to a journal or even just use on your own. Um, here's another one that I finished recently. This one has the sewing on it and again this is a beautiful coffee dyed paper and I used a stencil and sprayed it with coffee got that beautiful image so that's all coffee and tea dyed and then coffee dyed lace some hand torn fabric some other lace little book page so I do like to always keep the threads little bit on the messy side because I think that's so pretty. Um, this is a French English dictionary page vintage. Deja. Deja vu. <laughs> so those are fun. Um, some more beautiful coffee tea dyed pages and I do love Madame Bovary French vintage book so there's a book page there and the center here again just um, embroidery floss tied off with a bow in the center of this adorable little booklet and has a little flip out the rest of the Madame Bo Bovary page. The rest 
of the French English Dictionary and the back page is even more gringy along the edges there and that's the second book, book booklet so I'll be putting those in the Etsy shop soon and there are other ones in there um, already so please go take a look my Etsy shop is a passion, the number four paper shop, a passion for paper shop. And again, my name's Mary and I thank you so much for stopping by today. Wish you a wonderful day.